Uh, hello, my name is Andrew, and this is the boost unit test. Um, today I would like to tell you how to test CPP code in boost libraries. Uh, I will be working on uh, Ubuntu machine. Uh, at first I would like to tell you uh, how to start. Um, so if you would like to start uh, using boost libraries to test your um, code, uh, you have to um, install a necessary package which uh, so you have to paste this uh, command into your command into your uh, terminal and after that you will uh, you will be able to start uh, testing your your code cpp code uh, so for, uh, first i would like to tell you uh, i would like to show you uh, the first example uh, and so this is it i i paste this uh, example uh, uh, like, uh, one minute ago, uh, and so maybe I will tell you what's going on here. It's very it's the first example, and it's very, very simple. Uh, so uh, here we can see the first um, define uh, both test dynamic linking. Uh, after a while, I will tell you something more about it. But now at this time, I will tell you, I will go to the second line. Here's, here we can see the boost test module, which name hello. Here we including the necessary headers, and after that we've got the first uh, function, which name subtract, and uh, which is subtracting two integers and returning uh, in an integer. After that we've got the first example test case, which name subtract test, and uh, in this uh, so test case we are checking if the um, uh, the score of subtract method will be equal to zero. We expect that it will be uh, equal to zero because we are subtracting uh, two integers, which the value of this is uh, three and three. Uh, maybe at now I will tell you how to uh, um, how to uh, compile our test. So. Here you can see uh, the, um, the definition how to uh, compile it. Uh, so maybe at this time we'll compile it. No? Okay, and now we can run it, this uh, our test. So we can run it by this command. Uh, this is the name of our test, our file, because our, uh, the, our file is named is named test cpp uh, after that we've got the log level and because we want to uh, look at the log uh, write a log in the console uh, so and here's the our name of test test you so we can run our test okay maybe we come back to our test and here we get uh, that we are running one test case uh, and because we've got only one test case, entering test suit hello, hello. Uh, entering test subtract test, uh, leaving subtract test, leaving test suit hello, and no errors detected because we're expecting that the uh, value of the score of this method will be equal to zero. And now we can, for example, make a mistake and recompile it. By the way, we can uh, do this by one in one line. For example, like this. Oops. And uh, so we've got, we would have to use uh, to ampersand. And now we save our uh, test, recompile it, and run it. So we've got a failure because um, here's the mistake. And we've got one failure detected in test suit hello because it's not equal to, uh, to 10, so we've got a failure in 12 line. Uh, uh, what's more, uh, I, uh, I said that uh, in the future I will tell you something more about this, so may maybe now it's a good time. Uh, so I opt for dynamic linking against the rebuilt uh, re library insta uh, installed by my Ubuntu package. Um, to achieve this, I needed two things. To define boost test dynamic link, so we have to do this, and after that we have to uh, we have to boost 
include this boost dy uh, test dynamic linking before including the boost test headers in my source file. And we the additional uh, the additional is that we we have to add the this flag to our uh, uh, to our linker flags. So it's not only this necessary to uh, compile our uh, file to compile our um, test, but we've got we uh, we have to also add this uh, flag. Uh, we can also uh, uh, take our or save our uh, logs to the to the file, for example, and we can do this by this command. Okay, so we can run it and uh, we can uh, get our logs into the file, which name. Okay, so we can do this, and we've got one failure detected in test suite because and we haven't got any logs, but our logs are uh, in the file. And you can see that we've got our um, logs in, in, in our file. So maybe at this time I will remove it. Okay. Um, okay. And maybe now I will tell you, uh, I will show you the second example because I think that it's uh, all, that's all for this first example. I will copy the, in the second example because it's, it will be much uh, easier and uh, faster. Uh, and after I will copy it because I, I write it uh, earlier, this code. Uh, maybe at first I will... Uh, because now I would like to tell you something about a category, a category, special macros in, um, in Boost. Maybe I, at first I will show you and uh, the second example, and after that, I will uh, tell you something more about this example. So, uh, in the first three lines, we've got um, uh, almost exactly the same as it was in the uh, um, previous example. The only difference is here because our test module is named suit. Here we've got the same uh, function, and after that, we've got the, uh, the first category, which is connected with math, and uh, here we are. Mm -hmm. Opening the first category and the, the test suite, and here we are ending this test suite. And in this test suite, we've got only one uh, test case, which name subtract test. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, checking if the subtract is equal to, to zero. After that, we've got uh, the second uh, test suite, mm, which is connected with physics. Uh, mm, all of these examples are very easy. Uh, here we've got the, the second test case, which is connected with its which name is force test, and here's some some here we can uh, here we are che checking something, and uh, now we can run this uh, run our uh, test. Okay, and now we've got the logs. We can see the logs. We are running two test cases because we've got only two test cases. Uh, and after that, we've got some logs entering test suite suit. Because suit. And we are leaving the test suite uh, after all. Uh, uh, and what is in the middle? Um, we are entering the test suite mat. Test suite mat. Uh, we are entering test case subtract test, leaving leaving mat and entering test suit because it's test suit and in this test suit we've got one test case mm. so physics force test force test and here we've got some additional information testing time 10 milliseconds we are leaving test suit physics and we are leaving test suit suit okay no errors detected we can also add some mm, more more than one uh, test but we have to change the name and we can for example make some mistake here and we can also add here some uh, additional test for example Oh, 
Okay, and we can we can recompile it and re run it, this uh, test. And we've got uh, two failures detected in test suite. Test suite because we've got two test suite and uh, four test cases. Here we've got the error and in 17 line and in uh, 34 line. And so I think that um, it's quite easy to understand. So here we've got the uh, here, here we've got the first test suite, which includes two test cases, and here we've got the second test suite, which includes two test cases. I hope that it was quite intelligibly, and that's all for the first part of this tutorial. Uh, if you have if you have some questions, then ask me in the comments or an email. Uh, and I think that I hope that we will look into the second part. Thank you and goodbye.